All right, back on the clay today. I had to turn the heat on because it uh, snowed here last night and it's cold today. But uh, I forgot to come down and turn on the heat. <laughs> the clay is not quite soft enough yet. Time to play with some clay. Now you see why I don't do the mane of the horse until almost the very last. Because if I make do it now, I'm knocking it around and everything and ruining what I work on. You sort of have to schedule what you're going to work on. Got to build up his uh, forearm. That doesn't seem like I got much of an armature in that arm.
I'm just trying to get into the tight areas here and uh, odd angles. You kind of have to be ambidextrous to do this. In other words, you've got to be able to use your left hand when you're right-handed just as, he, as uh, expertly as you do your right hand. It ain't easy, baby. <laughs> no. It's time to put the uh, opening for the. Uh, I'm measuring the distance between the neck and the uh, opening of the vest, and I gotta have it exactly the same, or the vest is gonna look lopsided. Got that measured out right. Do some wrinkles in the uh, vest on this side. on my uh, YouTube channel tell me that when I mention about my breathing she said she does the same thing and it's due to the concentration she finds when she concentrates heavily she takes strained breath breathing too and I've been noticing today that's exactly what happens when you're breathing in short bursts you're actually holding your breath while you're sculpting or doing something very tedious or detailed So I'm going to stick with that excuse, and I kind of like it. All right, I'm going to take uh, some Ronsonol again. It's a lighter fluid, and uh, take out the roughness on this clay. Now, it's going to take about a half hour for this clay to, all this uh, Ronsonol to evaporate so I can continue working on the clay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tool or augment a tool in the meantime and show you how I do it. I'll take a short break from my sculpting to show you how I augment a existing tool into one that I can use a little more handily. Now, I got 
this tool. Let me show you here if I can find it now. And the reason I want to augment it is because I can't find it all the time because the damn handle's too small. Where is it? Was it here? I just had it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you can see how small that handle is. That's a a, a tool I bought uh, online from Ken's Tools, and it's a great tool. Only trouble is these wire loops are way too small for anything I need. And so I'm going to try to find my tool for it. I'm going to clip it off right about there. Using my joiner saw, Japanese joiner saw, by the way. Probably the best little saw that I've ever had for doing small things. I do have some sandpaper. It'll make it a lot easier to do this. Well, maybe. Maybe not. I did this with one of my tools here. In fact, I've done it with several tools like this one here, too. I've taken a uh, long metal tool and uh, took it to a machine shop, had them cut the uh, tool off so that I could uh, make a wooden handle because it's a lot th thicker and easier to handle uh, for detail work if you got a thick handle. Um, Narrow handle gives you pain in your joints. All right. I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to drill a hole for the uh, tool. I just widened it. Okay, I'm going to put some glue on a piece of clay. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, part that I'm going to put in the hole in the glue and push it in. If I can. I'm going to take some glue on the end of a fondue stick and just uh, place it around the top. Now this will be good to work with tomorrow, not today. But you see why I have put this piece of wood on here, it's so I can uh, work with the tool a little more easily. Well, my battery's about dead in my uh, camera, so I guess I'll have to pick this up tomorrow. Um, I'll uh, work on the uh, scarf tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and take the hat off because I'm going to have to work around where the hat is and it's going to be in the way. All right. Put the hat aside. Okay. That's it for today, and I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.